Okay, let's move on to trial, adjust to trial balance. So this is prepared after adjusting entries are posted, posted to T accounts, posted to ledger. And it's a part of the worksheet. In chapter four, we'll be going over the complete worksheet. Some of the companies will do a complete worksheet before they get to financial statements. Others may just be doing adjust to trial balance and then use it to compare, complete the um, entire financial statements. So there are two ways to do it. In we introduced a more comprehensive way after the entire worksheet is done, then they do the official financial statements. The companies may just be following this chapter at the end of adjust to trial balance, then they use the information to prepare financial statements. Okay, but this is a column in the worksheet called adjust to trial balance after making the adjusting entries. So we just, this compared to trial balance, really the only difference is just the adjusting entries that we did earlier, the five types. Okay, so we'll just be updating trial balance by all the adjusting entries that we made, and that's it. Updating that, you will have a new balance for adjusted trial balance. Okay, if we take a look at what the adjusted trial balance will look like starting from the beginning, from the beginning, the left side you will have the original, this blue headed here on top of it is trial balance, the unadjusted one. So if this is the original trial balance, after we make the A, B, C, D, E, F adjusting entries, we'll be posting the information here. You have it in T accounts and then you copy the balance here. So A here, if we just go over a few of them, really is the same entries that we covered earlier. You have prepaid rent earlier, $1,000 that you want to turn into rent expense. Okay, if it's B letter, then it will be using supplies and turn the supplies $100 into supplies expense. Okay, for C is depreciation expense, you will see the other side under accumulated depreciation. So these are exactly the balance that you see for each and every journal. After you post it into ledger, copy the information here. Okay, it's no different from the journal entries debit credit side. It's exactly the same information. Now after this, how we get to adjust the trial balance, we'll be adding or subtracting some of the dollar amounts that we made adjustments from. So some of the accounts, if you don't see any adjustments, then you just copy the same dollar amount as it is. So for example, cash. Cash, we didn't have any effects. Remember, adjusting entries do not affect cash account. So you just copy 4,800 there to adjust the trial balance. That will be an example of having the same amount before and after. Now the ones that we need to adjust is the ones that you see A, B, C, D, E, F, G letter next to it. So for example, accounts receivable, you have $2,200 the debit side in the beginning, and you have another debit amount. So you increase accounts receivable by $400. So you see the right hand side, there's a balance $2,600. Okay. The following account supplies, originally we have $700, and now you see a credit side of supplies, which means you want to reduce the balance into $600. Okay, so for all the asset account, the original balance you see on the debit side, but during the adjustments, if you see the balance under the credit side, then you have to minus it, reduce it. So another example would be prepaid rent. You have $3,000 in the beginning, then you have an A letter journal entry, you minus 1,000. At the end, the adjusted amount will be 2,000. Okay, now for accumulated depreciation, originally we didn't have anything listed because this is an adjustment that we just did. You just copy the 300, 200 to the right side. Okay, for liability account, remember the normal balance is the credit side. So you see accounts payable listed 18, 1,200 there. We just copy the same information since there's no adjustments made. For salary payable, 900 and $100. This is the new adjustments that we made, so copy the information. Now what about an earned service revenue listed there? So an earned service revenue is a liability. Originally we have 600. Now you see a 200 there. We will need to add or minus that amount. Six hundred was the original balance on the credit side, and now you see two hundred under the debit side. So debit liability would be a re reducing the liability. 
All right, so $600 credit is a plus, 200 is a minus. So under the adjusted version, you would see $400 there. Okay, that will be the new balance after adjusting entries. You only owe service to, to customer that worth $400. Okay, now all the remaining accounts are pretty much just copying the same information there. Now we see service revenue originally, there's $7,000, and now there's additional $400 and $200. So the new balance will be $7,600. Okay, salary expense, originally there's $900 listed. Now we have an additional recognition of $900. So altogether there's $1,800. So really what we're doing here is just adding or subtracting some of the adjustments that we made based on the debit credit rule. Okay, so this part also has debit credit rule. If the assets account originally balances debit side, the adjustment is credit, then you reduce it, you subtract it. If the adjustment is also on the debit side, like accounts receivable, then you add it. Okay, liability account, normal balance is the credit side. The adjustment, if it's made under the debit side, like an earned service revenue, then you have to reduce it. If it's, again, the credit side, then you add to it. Okay, revenue, when you have new revenue received, an earned revenue, when you have actually um, earned additional revenue here, the 400, 200, you add to it. Okay, because it's under the credit side. Okay, let's do a quick exercise. I'm going to give you the adjust trial balance and also the practice questions. For this problem here, it tells you that year-end data includes supplies on hand, $300, depreciation, accrued interest, $600. These are the th only three entries that needs to be addressed. Okay, so if you summarize it here in the left side. Supplies on hand, meaning that currently we have $300 worth of supplies. So that's a hint telling you that that isn't a ready, readily adjusted amount. Under supplies, you would see 300 left. So what will be there under the adjustments? Okay, depreciation, you will have to reduce dollar amount by 1,000. Accrued interest expense, we accumulated interest expense, $600. So these are the three adjustments. Try to see if you can figure out where to post these dollar amount. Okay, now if you can also do the accumulated dollar amount on the right side, adjust to trial balance.
you know, for supplies adjustments here, if it tells you that there's supplies on hand, $300, and originally you see supplies under the debit side, 900 then that means in the middle of this month, we have actually used $600 worth of supplies. Okay, so for all the three entries here, really the tricky one here is supplies. Supplies tells you what's the leftover that you have now. So it goes back, you have to trace back what is the part that use up. So earlier the questions already tell you what is the problem use up. Now this problem here the question gives you the, part of the supplies that you have on hand and try to figure out what's the part that you use up. So if there's the $600 that you use up then you reduce supplies by 600 and debit supplies expense. Okay for depreciation it's just like a regular depreciation entry. We'll be debiting depreciation expense crediting accumulated depreciation. Okay, all of these will be done in a journal entry form, post to T accounts, and then T accounts balance, you copy it here. So we're doing a shortcut here, just directly putting the dollar amount here under adjustments. Our accrued interest expense, that means we have accumulated interest expense that we haven't paid by cash, so the left side will be debit interest expense, and then the credit side will be interest payable. So if these are only the three adjustments that we need to make, then that means under the adjusted trial balance column, these will only be this, the six lines that we need to change the numbers. So meaning cash, we just copy the same information, accounts payable, the same one. If we go into supplies, you see 900 and you minus 600, you get 300 left. Okay, equipment, copy the information, accumulated depreciation altogether, you have 2,000 now. Interest payable, $600 since we didn't have any in the beginning. Supplies expense, $600. Depreciation, $1,000. Interest expense, you need to add to the original dollar. Okay, so adjust to trial balance, really we're just doing adjustments for the adjusting entries that we made. All the other accounts, just copy the same information and paste it over there. Okay, that would be.